We're making knives. Check it out. And then, if you like what you see, you can come to the Nordic Fire Festival in Charlotte and buy one from us. Alright, so we're starting the process here, forging the material out to the proper thickness. This is an old spring, and it's round in sections, so we need to bring it down to about an eighth of an inch thick. And we're going to draw that section out long enough to make two knives. We've finished the forging operation, so now it's time to anneal or normalize the steel. We've heated it up to just barely above the critical temperature, and we're going to slowly cooling it by putting it back in the forge uh, with the gas off. So it's just in a hot, insulated box, relieving stresses and softening the material up. We've got the pieces cut to length, so now with our, our prototype knife as a pattern, we're tracing the design onto the pieces. This will be our, our outline, so everything that is not a knife will now be cut and uh, ground and filed and sanded away. The angle grinder with a cutoff disc and grinding wheel makes pretty short work of this. And when it's pretty close to the right shape and size, we take it over to the belt sander to finish the profiling and then start the beveling. Onto the sanding now, the belt sander is a little more exact and it goes a little bit slower than the grinder does so we can get the, the outline or the profile of the knife exactly where we want it. Once the profile is done, we move on to start grinding and cuddling the actual bevel for the knife or where the edge is going to be. This is the most time consuming part of the whole process, working our way up from 80 grit belts up to 400 grit belts to get a nice shiny finished bevel. The grinding is all done, so it's time to harden the knives. You can see we have a pipe there in the forge that helps disperse the heat so that while the knives are in there, the edges don't overheat and they heat up more evenly and slowly. So for the hardening, we bring the knives to just past magnetic. You can see I'm tapping it there with a magnet. Heat it up till it's just past magnetic and then quench it quickly, in this case in vegetable oil. It hardens the knife and makes it very brittle. So that's the first step of the heat treatment operation. So it's been hardened, it's very brittle. Now it's time to temper the knives. So that's to heat them up again uh, to a much lesser degree. That relieves some stress, relieves some of that hardness, and instead gives you a, a tough finished product. So the handle area is Heat it up to maybe 600 degrees, make it nice and tough. The blade area will be heated up to maybe around 400 degrees. You'll see that when I'm done touching it here with the torch, it'll be kind of a, a yellow brownish color. That's indications of around 400 degrees. Which will leave that blade nice and hard, um, but not so hard as it was before, not nearly as brittle. All that's left to do now is to give the knife a beeswax coating, melt some beeswax on there to protect it from rust, and we have a finished product. Hope you like it. Let us know if you have questions.